biorobotics is an interdisciplinary science that combines the fields of biomedical engineering, cybernetics, and robotics to develop new technologies that integrate biology with mechanical systems to develop more efficient communication, alter genetic information, and create machines that imitate biological systems, like robots giving birth, or microchip brain implants, or any type of mechanical implant done to humans or any living species. Cybernetics, which focuses on the communication and system of living organisms and machines that can be applied and combined with multiple fields of study, such as biology, mathematics, and computer science, to help engineer bionic robots which are products that have developed and combined the characteristics of animals and human technology with mobility mechanisms built on the bionics principle to replicate motion in the body when a robot walks. I was reading a comment in one of my videos the other day and someone was writing about the one thing that seemed to be the issue with all these human-like robots and that was the way they walk that seemed to be very jerky and not with real motion like a human. And we're talking about humanoid robots of course like Xiaomi Cyber One, Tesla Optimus, a Simo from Honda to name a few and not the wheeled variety on wheels. However, even robots like Atlas from Boston Dynamics who we've seen do backflips and parkour, yet when you see Atlas just walk, it's still sort of clunky and very robot-like, as if technology isn't quite there yet. And in fact, if you've watched one or two of my videos here on YouTube, then you've probably heard me say once or twice before how I feel like some of these companies that make robots, industrial automation or whatever have you, I feel like these companies are holding back technology that will propel us into the future, a future of euphoric technology time period paradise female robots with giant boobs and the perfect bodies. Yes, that is the future. Like the video I made a few weeks back about Sony making the bold statement about the production of human-like robots. But before we talk more about it, we'll talk more about it after the break. Brain time. Congratulations, you made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now back to the video. Now here's a bold statement. Back in December, just before the 2023 New Year, Japanese electronics and entertainment conglomerate, the Sony Group, Sony, made a bold statement kind of out of nowhere. But at the same time, yes, and thank you for sharing. They stated that Sony has the technology to make humanoid robots and quickly. Once it could, of course, determine and has identified how humanoid robotics could effectively be used. Quote, and I'm reading from an interview written by Routers, quoting the chief technology officer at Sony, Hiroyuki Kitano. So he says, quote, we will make an investment for manufacturing humanoid robots only when such investment is deemed necessary. We see a potential in humanoid robots, but we also believe other forms of robots are quite important as well. Interesting. Well, here's a reason. In fact, I can think of so many reasons. 
giant boobs, human-like skin, the perfect bodies, artificial intelligence. Oh, I kind of just jumped into that, didn't I? Female robots, love dolls, our daily topic of choice on this channel. But in all honesty, and we'll move past this point, but with all honesty, which of course in turn will give the entire world a renewed quality of life, it is scientifically studied and proven robots improve the quality of life. Women would become more friendly and more willing to give birth. Hold on, wait, what are you talking about? But why? Why is that a bad thing? And have families due to male design robots or female robots replacing them in many areas. Birth rates would be up. Abortion rates would be down and economies around the world would be booming. Or how about just not depriving the world or holding back technology that will propel us into the future? In fact, if anyone could fine tune or master humanoid robots, I believe in Sony. In fact, I'm sure we have all watched a Spider-Man movie once or twice or 10 times over. Working alongside Marvel Entertainment and Disney, the Stuntronic robot, which is actually Sony Spider-Man, web-slinging and high-flying meters above the ground on set filming. While Hyundai Motors and the Boston Dynamics robots are running around doing backflips and parkour. Multiple companies, in fact, building humanoid robots. Xiaomi Cyber One, Tesla Optimus, Toyota, Honda, who has actually teamed up with Sony with the Sony car, a fella brand. And we know also who has been making humanoid robots since the debut of Asimo in the year 2000. I'm thinking the statement said by Sony in 2022 was said as if they had nothing to prove, but at the same time, no longer wanting to be passive. But how do you introduce a new humanoid robot after such a bold statement without coming across as overbearing? In fact, the answer to that is simple, with timing. The World Expo 2025 is set to take place in Osaka, Japan in 2026 when the Sony car, the Afela EV, will arrive. Sony has already stated that in 2025, they will start taking orders for the EV. Well, what better way to boost pre-sales with the unveiling of the new Sony humanoid robots? All of which could take place during Expo 2025. Well, until then, or when Sony decides to drop the news of some new humanoid robots, we can only speculate. But one thing is for sure, artificial intelligence, robotics, the metaverse, and AI have continuously been propelling us into the future. A technology time period paradise. Humanoid robots? We just need to accept them.